So when I'm putting the materials in my assembly lines, at that time, what I would be doing, I would be issuing the materials, right? So you can issue the material manually or you can also issue the material automatically. You will just do one transaction, order confirmation, and all the material will get issued to the production order automatically. But there can be the manual steps to issue the material to the production order. When we say issue the material to production order, is means getting consumed. So what I'm trying to mean here that we are trying to produce something, right? In these different assemblies, these different material would be used. This material would be used at this point. This material would be used at this time. This material would be used. Use means when the assembly is happening, this material will part of this assembly. This material will become a part of this assembly, which means the stock of this material should be reduced. Stock of this material should be reduced because that is no more exist with me, I have consumed it. That consumption is called the process which we call it as a goods issue. We have issued the goods. We have removed from our inventory and we have issued the goods. To whom we have issued? We have issued to a production order. Production order has consumed the raw materials or the child components. And at the end here, after the assembly has been done, your final finished goods would be produced and then you need to show this inventory of the finished good that this one material of as a finished good has been produced and that should store as your stock this fg1 stock should be showing and these sfgs and this raw material stock should get reduced reduction of these stocks is called as a goods issue or another terminology is back flush we call it that these materials are back flush when you would be creating a production you would be confirming a production order and with the confirmation of the production order whatever the child components are there stock will get reduced for those child components as per the bomb quantities as per the bill of material quantities stock will get reduced with the confirmation you need not to manually uh, consume one by one each component to the production order through the MIGO transaction. That is called back flushing. Okay, that is called back flushing. So now you would be able to understand when we use the terminology goods issue, consumption of the material, if the automatic goods issue with the production order confirmation is happening, that is called back flush. And we, when we say good receipt, is receiving of the finished goods into the stock. It's called good receipt transaction. Okay, this is what good receipt, this is what's goods issue and back flush terminology means.